What, they give him Rex Matriarch's defense? What is this? Hello? I only brought 10,000 runes. Hurry. Okay, I did it. This video is sponsored by and made possible by Opera GX. I tried out Opera GX about a year ago when they reached out to me about potentially working with them. And I'm not gonna lie, since that point, I've completely switched over and I use Opera GX as my main browser. Whether it's one-click Twitter and Discord access, true performance optimization, or my second favorite feature, which is picture-in-picture -picture YouTube support, they've got specialized features that ordinary browsers just don't have. For example, I recently completed the Daughter of Chaos quest, and instead of having the wiki guide on the other monitor, I thought I'd try out a video guide. Instead of watching it on a different display, I decided to just chuck it on top of my interface, and you can do that in a single click with anything on YouTube. I'm gonna be honest though, the thing that I like most about Opera GX is the tactile typing feedback sounds. They are just chef's kiss perfect. Now, you might be thinking that switching browsers is pretty daunting. Opera GX has an import tool that allows you to quickly import all of your settings from your previous browser. Things like your browsing history, bookmarks, and cookies. In addition to this, Chrome extensions are fully compatible with Opera, so you really can switch over to it and try it out with zero trade-offs. If you're interested in checking out Opera GX on either mobile or PC, you can check out my link in the description down below or the pinned comment. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? And welcome to day number 13 of the Hardcore Iron Man adventure. I hope everyone is good. We have a bunch I want to do today. I'm super excited. Uh, we're going to start things off with our dailies today. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to see where the day takes us. But we, we made a lot of progress. So I'm now 62 mining. And I believe I have 61 crafting banked as well, which is absolutely huge. Um, and it should put us in a pretty good spot for getting Lunars today. And I think what I want to do today is get Lunars and then get 85 magic so that tomorrow we could do the World Wakes. That's what I'm thinking. I don't want to like lock that in per se, but I, I feel like that would be really, really cool. That's kind of the idea. Also, they added group Iron Man Dungeoneering today. So I feel like we made this hardcore at the absolute perfect time. Like it's actually nuts. Day two of the hardcore, I could get premiere. And then now a week and a bit after making it, We've got grouped engineering on my groupable hardcore. But uh, yeah, that's going to give us a lot of options moving forward for engineering. And I'm very, very stoked about it. Dude, look at the dragon hatchet. It looks so good in the bank next to the rotten food. Level 56 in the farming seal coming in. That's mega burned. Oh no, not, not both. Oh, this game is so hard. Dude, how are you going to burn both? I look like a mind goblin. Mind goblin. Some, it's a mind goblin. Okay, I'm actually waiting. Like, I, I, you have to, please, please put me out of my misery. Okay, somebody do it. Somebody do it so we can move on. Thank you. Also, working out a good RS real life balance can be good. Yeah, I think it depends on the person. I know some people that like, I think if, if RuneScape is getting in the way of you progressing the way that you want to in your real life, not in like a, I'm gonna blame RuneScape, but it's actually a great number of things. But if it's like actually addicting like that, yeah, is not ideal. He says with a 1400 total level account on day 13, I don't listen to me. Now, you know what? Y listen to me, but it's kind of a do as I say, not as I do situation, I think. But they give him Rex Matriarch's defense? What is this? Hello? I only brought 10,000 runes. Hurry. Okay, I did it. That is the family crest quest complete. So I think the ones I probably want first are probably... Actually, I think with the smithing ones first. And I know you can buy additional pairs, but they're kind of expensive. So we're just going to, you know, we're going to cycle. We'll go the long way. We'll run it for now. But uh, very important quest done. Going to make a lot of things we do on this account a little bit easier. Level 65 divination without actually ever having to train divination in less than two weeks. Caches are so fair and so balanced. Okay, that is a beautiful brand new Amulet of Magic. Go along with the blue theme of our character. And uh, yeah, let's get into ED3. See how it goes. Because I want to do World Wakes and I do not want to do World Wakes with 75 magic. Look at the XP on this though. It is so ridiculous. I think every run we do, we're going to get a full level. Is that fair and balanced? Absolutely not. Is that the reality? Yes, it is. We are already 20 seconds in. Uh, level 76 magic. Keep it going. That is level 67 constitution. And we totally didn't almost die. 37 dungeoneering. We take those. Oh. Um. Well, at least it was the non-hardcore. Bro, squid. I feel violated. 
Oh, no. But also, I'm kind of hyped that my stash looks like the bat symbol. That's pretty fire. 77 magic coming in. Not too bad. This is... So, my heart rate is like 160 right now. This place is so spooky, but we are actually getting a full magic level every single run we do. So it is well worth it. It is just a real spook. Hey, look, we killed the boss. All right, I'm going back to the gnome shop because I need more food. All righty, that is 70 constitution, which means um, we can actually get access to Zamorak's fortress in the God Wars dungeon, which is quite large. That actually, uh, yeah, that's a big one to get for sure. I don't think we're gonna be doing Krill super soon because like technically we're gonna have Crypt Bloom anyway. So I don't think it's super necessary, but uh, yeah, access granted. That is level 80 in the Magic Seal coming in. An absolutely massive level coming in there. So five more levels until upon completing the World Wakes quest, we'll be able to do uh, or use Sunshine. 43 Dungeoneering coming in, 71 HP, 82 Magic coming in. Wait, I can use Ice Blitz. Cool. 83 wizard. And I can lose my account to the World Wakes quest, which is obviously very thrilling. Dude, you can tell who isn't a hardcore on the team because it's the one person whose HP is like seven consistently. 74 HP coming in. You guys are here asking about God Wars 1. I'm asking about when I can do Beastmaster. What do you guys think? Do you guys think a team of 10 level 96s with Vanquish staffs could do a BM kill? I think it's possible. Okay, can all of them be hardcores though? And then the follow-up is, can we use random.org to pick everybody's role? Can you imagine? The one dude who's actually underleveled gets stuck with base. They don't even have the defense level to use barricade. That is level. I'm dying. Please don't die right here. That would be really bad. That is level 85 magic coming in. He is absolutely sick. That took an hour and 40 minutes from level 75. And I can now use teleblock, very important. Most importantly though, sunshine after the World Awakes quest. So now what we get to do is we get to go to gameplay, combat XP, I get to throw on defense, and we're just gonna finish off the hour on defense. And I just wanna see what happens. That is level 65 defense coming in and 99 combat. Now of all the wrecks for King's Ransom, which actually I'm gonna write down because I actually think I wanna do that quest ASAP. It's really, really good prayer XP. Level 69 in the defense skill. And we have now on day 13 reached the combat level 100 milestone. 70 defense done, which means this is the final ED run of the day. I think we've made some absolutely ridiculous ridiculous progress here to be 85 magic and 70 dev to get a total of 20 levels 10 in each in just over two hours is just absolutely ridiculous for this sort of uh this sort of level that's like 400,000 defense xp and like almost no yeah about 2 million magic xp as well I'm very, very happy about that. Let's get the uh, Twisted Birthstone necklace done. So now I have the Infinite Prayer necklace. So next time we do 83, that's gonna be really, really helpful. I don't need to worry about being on penance or anything else. That is King's Ransom quest complete and a nice little herbal lamp. Okay, next step, definitely to complete the Night Waves. All right, team, that is the Night Waves training ground. Mission complete. So now I've unlocked Piety and Rigor and Augury, which are the tier and chivalry as well. So a tier 60 prayer and then the set of tier 70 prayers that I'm probably gonna be using for a while. They're very, very good. That is level 60 Slayer, having not actually trained Slayer at all. We take those, I can finally do Aberrant Spectres, which are actually pretty good for early game herbs if I wanna make like Guthix Rest. But I've got my Grim Gem in my invent because without leaving the instance, we're gonna get a Reaper's Choice and we're gonna run it back too easy. That is level 61 in the Hunter skill which means we are only two levels away from getting red chins. So we can already do gray chins, which is huge. And then, uh, yeah, we're cruising. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that is just disgusting. <laughs> 160 crimson charms. Yeah, yeah. Looking good, looking good. 2000 anime. That's a lot of anime. Alrighty. Okay, I am going to just go on the record here and say, I think this is a really bad idea but we are gonna do it anyway. The play here is we're gonna go to ED3 at level 47 ranged and just try to not totally die, I guess, to fast track to 60. As soon as we're level 60 range, we can do uh, Morning's End parts one and two, which are some like very, very end game quests. I just wanna get them done. So that is the terrible plan. And now it's time to, uh, to execute it. I don't have a butterfly jar. Oh, great. Okay, well, for right now, all I want is some chins to throw. I don't even think we need that many, probably. Wait, we're catching them like crazy! Wait, this is nuts! Oh, wait, no, we're not. They're breaking all my traps. 
I'm not catching anything. They're just breaking my traps. That's good. That's good enough. Let's go. Let's go to Mass Cab and, and buy a ranging potion. So Tommy and I are level 46 and 47 ranged respectively. We are both hardcores. Okay, buy a range pot, buy a def pot, buy some super restorers, buy the alligators. You know what? This is kind of like a high risk, high reward situation. If this works out, I think we're just, we're gaming. It's just, if it doesn't work out, one or both of us are like mega gonna die. Bro, how is this the fastest way to train? How is that even possible? Wait, pause champ? He's kind of hitting a bit though? Wait, that's level 48 range you're coming in. This is so bad, but you know what? It worked. We just got to keep it going. I don't have a hundred farming, but I do have level 49 ranging. So that's pretty cool. Wait, we got, we got 49 to 50 range in two mobs. This has been kind of like weirdly okay. Like this shouldn't be okay. This is like a PVM war crime for sure, but that's level 51 already. 48, 49, 50, 51 just in this... 52! What? Okay, this is sick. This is the future. We're gonna be 99 by like the end of the hour. Offhand green cross, so good. Can I buy a tier 50 boat? Can I buy it in the champion skill? Pull up. Sorry, Tommy, give me a quick second here. I gotta, I gotta talk to a thing about a place. You know what I am missing though? The part where I get like 20 levels. That part is, is missing for sure. We're gonna have to remedy that at some point, I suppose. That is level 53 ranging coming in. And that is level 54 ranging, um, 10 seconds after level 53. That seems good. What is this method? That's level 56. Let's go. Level 57 ranging. Level 60 range coming in it means I now have all the levels needed for Morning's End Part 1. And Morning's End Part 2 doesn't have any wrecks. So effectively, we can now do Morning's End Parts 1 and 2, which I think is pretty crazy because in my head, that feels like a very, very late game quest. That feels like one of the last quests you do before Prif. And uh, yeah, not this time around. We'll be uh, making that happen tomorrow, I think. Okay, team, that is my 100 points done. Let's get out of here. It is time to skedaddle.